All right, so first, let's protect this like that. Um, eject, eject. So, we're going to take this SSD and put it in here. Let me show you. Um, first, I'm going uh, to turn it on. I'm going to turn this one on, too. See, right now, it has no hard drive in it. And as you see, this one has the hard drive in it. Okay? So, like I said, I'm going to install this hard drive in here. This is my Player 1 hard drive. And as you see, there's no hard drive in Player 2. But what it's trying to do is share, if I want, I could share this hard drive with this player because I plugged in the um, Ethernet cable that connects them both to each other so that's how you can share music between the two different players but the songs i have on here are not the same as the songs i have on here so and i i know how i arrange my music so you know that's neither here or there at the moment but just so i can have a certain amount of songs two terabytes of songs on here and two terabytes of songs on here and why not i'm going to turn this one off Move the um, Ethernet cable, move the power cord, um, put my deck saver on it to protect it from any damage because I'm going to turn it over. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Get my trusty screwdriver that I use for this. And it's four screws, one, two, three, four. I removed them. Take off the cover. This is my connection for my USB drive. My SSD, I'm sorry, my SSD drive. Plug that in. Okay. Now, this, by the way, all these screws come with the player when you purchase the player. player. I put my screws in a safe spot so I don't lose it along with my tools all right and what you do is you take the cover and there are four screws also right here one two three four and that way it holds the um, SSD safely so it doesn't rattle around in here okay so let me line that up my bad Okay, I'll take the screwdriver, one screw, and I usually cross screw, that's just something I learned from when I did maintenance. Um, two. and four 
Then I slip this safely in the bay, in the um, SSD bay. And I put these other four screws that hold the door to the unit back in. So let's see. We got one. All my screws are in, all my screws are flush. I can put away my tools. Shout out to I Fix It. All right, flip this bad baby over. Plug in the audio cables. Plug in my Ethernet cable that shares the information between the two players. Last, excuse me, I'm sorry. <sighs> Lastly, plug in my power cable. Put some hand sanitizer on my hands since I just sneeze. Turn the player on. Taking the covers off because I don't need them anymore. Deck savers, sorry. Can y'all see? Yep. Okay. Wait for the player to start up. And there you go. This drive is installed. I select it. I already have a profile on this disc along with my all my music, all my crates. It's updating. When this this one now registers this one, so I'm going to share information between these two. And that's all you have to do to install a disk drive in, in, into your um, SC6000M or SC6000 for the Denon um, media players. Once again, it's your boy DJ Short E from Philly, and I'm out. Peace.